Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the new career mode. It is Wolfsburg. You guys have voted for it. We are going over to Germany, my country, and we are taking over a team that has been struggling the last year, that is struggling right now, and we will try and take them to the title. This is the career mode, which will be very challenging, but still, we will have some really good players in our team and a decent budget as well to take things into our hands, turn it around and make this an epic career mode where we go for the title. So guys, if you are enjoying this Wolfsburg career mode, if you're happy that there's finally a new career mode on my channel, hit that like button. Let's see if we can get over 4,000 likes. Normally, our first episodes in career modes always get a huge amount of views, huge amount of likes, and I'm always thankful for that. And hopefully, it'll be the same for this episode right here, boys. Let's get straight into this one, Wolfsburg. What do we know about this team right here? The last time this team won a trophy was in 2014-2015 season. They have won the German Cup. Then, before that, in 2008-2009, they had a squad filled with players with great talent. They had the likes of Mizimovic, Edin Dzeko, Grafic. Those three alone just took them to the title and they had one of the most insane seasons everyone was freaking out that they actually won the title in the Bundesliga and now we are right here with this team boys this is currently the starting lineup of Wolfsburg you can see a couple of good players but other than that it's nothing but average and we gotta change that around if we want to win titles if we want to win the Bundesliga title and maybe the German Cup as well we gotta do a lot of work on this team let me work this around real quick and then we'll get right into the starting 11. Here is the starting lineup that we will start off with in this career mode. We have Origi up top, the Liverpool lonely. It will be quite interesting to see how Origi will be playing in this squad. Back in the day in our Liverpool career mode, we always tended to send him away on loan or sell him. Now in this FIFA or in this year in general, as he moved over to Wolfsburg, he did well at the start, but then his form started dipping. And at this point, I think he is on the bench at Wolfsburg. So our goal, will be to make this guy our main man up front 77 rated Divo Origi and as always you need a Belgian in your team as Spencer FC likes to say and Origi is the one for us he will be in a striking position to start off with if we can bring in a better striker we will switch him over to the wings and use him as a winger but currently on the wings in this formation we will have Two players that are not really wingers. We have uh, Yunus Mali right here who moved over to uh, Wolfsburg from Mainz and he had a couple of decent performances. He has a decent rating in this game. He's 80 rated. He's right footed so I put him onto the right hand side and Arnold is someone that I personally believe could be quite decent down the left hand side as well even though his stats don't suggest that he can play on the wings. He's only 23 years old. Definitely has potential to go up even more left footed. That's the main reason why I put him onto the left hand side now obviously with this squad it would probably be a little bit smarter if we switch to a formation like this uh, into a 4-2-3-1 not the uh, wide one we go over to the narrow one because in this one everyone would be in a camp position and I think that is probably a little bit smarter because all of these players can play as a cam right yeah all three of these can play as a cam so let's do it like that we'll play in a 4-2-3-1 formation with two defensive very defensive cdm players camacho and gila Vogi. they will be taking over the defensive duties in this team and trying to take us to that title that is what we are de dreaming about we got william down the left hand side who will be replaced by gerhard right there he is a 75 rated left back so we'll use him brooks joined in from hatta bst now he's in our team he's an over powered center back i think he will be the captain of this team for us just leading the team from the back we got bruma right next to him who is quite a brutal center back and then we have down the right hand side ferhag and in the set in the goalkeeping position we have castells i believe we have three 
No, this guy's from Netherlands. We have two, at least two, Belgians in our team right now. If we go down to the bench, though, we do have a very talented Aussie man right here. I believe he's from Nigeria, and he was playing quite well with the youth uh, national team of Nigeria, as far as I can remember. And then uh, Wolfsburg picked him up. Dimata is our second striker, or actually the first striker on the bench. He is a 72-rated player, 19 years old, lots of potential. Hopefully, these two can do some work for us, just like Lautaro. Martinez at Arsenal. We got Stefan down the left hand side. He is only 25 years old, really good pace, really good agility and all of that stuff. He will be an amazing sub for us. It's Bazur. Man, this guy, I used to absolutely love him in past FIFAs where he had really high potential. I don't think that in this game he has a lot of potential, but we will try to get the best out of him and sub him in into our team, especially if we are trying to move forward even more because with Camacho and Gilavogi, we do have two CDMs who really tend to sit back. So with Bazur, we will be looking to sub him in into the game and take over offensively and help our offense basically. And Mehmedi right here, a decent sub for the wings once again. Let's put it like that so that everything is sorted. William is going to be on the bench. Tisarant is now our centre-back substitute. And then we have Knoche as well, who used to be an amazing talent back in the day. I don't know if he still is a good talent. Then we got Brecalo, only 19 years old, 73 rated. Another great talent in our team. And then Itza in the left-back position as well. I do believe he had decent potential in last FIFA. Don't know about this one. Um, Jung came in from Eintracht Frankfurt, uh, doesn't really seem to be a very high rated player right there. Blazikowski, one of our old players right here, he used to play for Dortmund for the longest time, amazing player for Poland and his story man, if you don't know the story of Blazikowski, oh boy, you need to listen to that because as far as I can remember, he saw his own dad murder his own mom something like that that is just absolutely insane if you think about that and they still made it to being a footballer mad respect to this guy good job on him so one of the main reasons why most people voted for Wolfsburg instead of Hamburg was that we do have a decent budget with this team that we can spend on a couple of transfers and I'm already looking into the team thinking about transfers we can make I'm happy with the two CDMs those are the two positions that I probably will not change. Then in the center attacking midfield position, the central one, Didavi will be quite good for us. Yunus Mali is a quality player. Arnold is a quality player. Now in the striking position, I don't know if Origi will be that guy for us. I'm not 100% sure. I will give him a couple of matches. I will test him out, see how he plays, and then make my decision up for the striking position. I do believe though, that we do need a lot of strengthening at the back because Wolfsburg currently in our team, we do have a 75 rated left back, a 77 rated center back, a 76 rated right back. We do need to bring in better defenders into this team to basically prevent our team from conceding a lot of goals and helping the offense to be more secured when they are moving forward. What we want to do in this career mode is not just focus on players that are young and really high potential players. We are looking to bring in players who can already bring in the fire straight away into the team, not take too long to be a big impact player in our squad. And I think Oscar De Marcos would be an amazing right back to bring into our squad. Now, obviously, he's not the youngest. Again, he's 28 years old, but he is probably one of the most balanced right backs in the game especially last year he was an amazing player and i personally want to use him as my right back it might not be your first choice probably a lot of people will be going for the likes of semedo for the likes of benedin all those crazy potential cards i want to make this career mode personal i want to make this team something that wouldn't really go mainstream too much i want this to be a very special career mode because it is a team that is struggling big time and we want to help them out but in order to do that we cannot be bringing in youngsters and waiting for them to grow we have to bring in complete products and we have to also make the right decisions financially and oscar de marcos could be just that guy now the question is he has a 22 million release clause will i pay that no. So I personally think Oscar de Marcos will not be worth a lot more than like 10 million. I think he should be around the 78, 79 rating, which would be already three ratings higher than Ferhak, who is 33 years old. And this is currently the situation that we need to improve the most. 
Uh, let's just say 11 million. Just see what they say. I think it might be a little bit too much, you know. Maybe we should go down to like 10 and add a sell-on clause of 15% and see what they say. He had a 22 million release clause. This, this might be way too low. But they are responding, saying 13.5. So that is not a bad thing, you know, because that means 22 million would have definitely been too much. So we got to negotiate right here. Oscar de Marcos, what am I saying? I'm saying 13.5. Let's say 12, yeah. Let's say 12 million, okay. And then edit the sell-on clause to be... 25% because I'm definitely not selling him on and hopefully they will accept this one. What are they saying? Oh, they're actually going up Okay, you just offered 13.5 and now you're saying this. All right, let's move up to 13 They are a tough negotiators right now. I uh, will keep the sell-on clause on 5% Come on. Come on accept 13 million 14.6 Okay, um, we will propose what they asked for at the start, 13.5, we're not good negotiators right now, but 13.5 million I think should be a good amount that they should accept, like come on man, you just offered it, you just asked for 13.5, that is ridiculous, let's put this up to 20%, 20 I, I'm really like wondering to see if they will accept this or no, okay, they finally have agreed, we have the uh, opportunity to talk to Oscar de Marcos for his contract. 13.5 million should be a good amount. And this is a player that we have used in the past in our Athletic Bilbao career mode. I think it was FIFA 16. So I'm really interested to see how Oscar de Marcos looks right now in the game. I know for a fact that he has been an amazing player, but... Is he good enough still? Negotiating starts now. So he wants a crucial role in the team. I think we can offer him that because if he asks for it straight away, that means his rating is quite high. I want him to have a three-year contract just in case. Let's see what they say. They're happy with three years. That works out. No release clause, which is perfect for me. It seems like Oscar de Marcos could be working out for our team. Now the wages. Ooh, I could mess up big time here. Ah, I don't want to offer too much, you know. If I start with 40k, will he just be running away? Let's say 40k plus 500,000. Is that a good amount? I'm not too sure. I'm expecting him to be 78, 79 rated, but the fact that he said he wants to be a crucial first team player kind of tells me that he's higher rated. So I think 40k plus 500,000 should be okay for now. Is he going to be saying yes? Oh, okay, he wants 35k, but he wants a signing bonus plus appearances. So in total, bonus of 1 million, which you will definitely get because 15 appearances is nothing special. So 35,000 and that... I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. Oscar de Marcos, first signing of our Wolfsburg career, mo career mode. Career mode. Wolfsburg. That's how you say it in German. But you will catch me saying Wolfsburg because obviously I'm speaking English right now. Now, how high is he rated? Verhag 76. Oscar de Marcos is 80 rated. I love it. Now, you might be thinking... 80 rated, that's not good enough, but look at these stats. 83 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 93 stamina, decent amount of strength, really good aggression and all of that stuff, interceptions, attack positioning, everything looking good, ball control, on point, dribbling, looking really good for a right back, he has decent shooting, slide tackle and stand tackle is just like around the 80s, which is perfect, and he is six foot tall, so if crosses are coming in, Oscar de Marcos can jump up, and head them away. Now, one thing I realized was Bruma is only 25, but here's the deal. This Odokai or Yuduokai, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Udokai, probably that's the uh, right way to pronounce it. He's only 19. He is only 19 years old and 75 rated. I think we have to give this guy a shot. If we put him into the training sessions, he could be a very, very good centre-back. So this will be a card that we, fo a player that we focus on 
for the centre-back position. We have to improve his skills as fast as possible, but he will get his chance in a starting lineup to play alongside Brooks, who definitely will rough him up if he makes mistakes. Now, if we look into the value of the players in our team, we don't have a single player above 20 million. That is just unbelievable. I think we haven't had a career mode like this in a long time where we didn't have players in our team that go for a lot of money. Now, if I look at this, into this list, I see an Entep. He is currently out on loan. And the question is, do we bring this guy back into our team? I want you guys to decide in the top right corner. Let me know, should Intep be recalled from his loan? 77 rated player, 24 years old. And a lot of people were looking forward to see how he can do when he joins into the team in Germany. Um, there was a lot of hype surrounding this player, but he didn't turn out to be as good as he was expected to be. So he went out on loan, currently playing at Saint-Étienne. I have no idea if he's currently in a starting lineup over there or not. But the only thing that we know is that he's 77 rated and he can play as a striker. So we could keep that in mind. 10 million is what he's worth. If we do not bring him back to play him, do we bring him back to sell him? That's another question right there. He's worth 10 million. Now this Stefan guy, I want to give him give him a try. He seems like a kind of cool card to use. Uh, he could be like the um, Rafael Guerrero that we used in our uh, last career mode. In not, yeah, in the last one, yeah, yeah, in the Arsenal career mode. Sorry, <laughs> uh, we could use him like that. And then I think Mehmedi is someone that I want to sell. 7.5 million. I would be quite happy with that, but apparently I cannot sell him because he just recently joined into the team, I think. This Bruma, I'm not interested in keeping this guy. I don't think he is the right center back for us, so I will be adding him into the transfer list right now. Udokai will take over his position. Felix, that's his name. Let's say Felix to him. Felix will take over his position. He has a release clause though, so if he goes up in his stats quite quickly, a lot of teams will be chasing after this guy. So before the January transfer window, please remind me to go ahead and negotiate a new contract with this boy because we don't want to lose him for that low amount of money. Another player that I'll be putting onto the transfer list is Knoche. He never really became what he was set out to be. So he is on the transfer list right now as well. Uh, Blazikowski, I'll just keep because I just love his story. I think he could be having some great moments in our career mode um, coming in as a substitute. Other than that though, I don't think I'll be selling a lot of players. Um, the ones that I want to sell kind of I can't sell because uh, I can't put them onto the transfer list right now. This Ita kit I think has some good potential. Um, the rest though won't be making a difference if we sell them. So let's just keep them. These are the players that I'm putting into the training sessions. Origi, Brekalo, Bazur, Udukai, and then we have Gerhardt. These are the ones that will be trained up and hopefully going up in their stats as fast as possible. An A rating for Brekalo right there. Another thing that a lot of you guys might be interested in is what does this team currently expect from us? What are the objectives that are set out for a team like Wolfsburg? Youth development is not that important, also won't be important in this career mode. Um, we have to sell out at least 90% attendance, 50% of the league home games. Hopefully we can do that. Um, continental success, nothing. That's interesting. They are not expecting anything from us, but it's medium. How does that even make sense? I don't understand. Domestic success right here. We have uh, Bundesliga. We have to finish mid-table. Um, current position is obviously 17th because of the W. Uh, and then you have uh, DFB Pokal. We have to reach the round of 16. These are the two trophies that we want to go for. Finish mid-table. What are you talking about? We want to get into the Champions League places. That is what we are trying to do with this career mode right here. And financially, they don't want anything. They don't care about finances. They have VW behind them. The biggest car company. One of the biggest car companies, obviously, in Germany. So they don't care about the financial solutions. So we do get our first transfer offer. It will be a loan deal to Hansa Rostock. It is Donkor. Now, we are giving them away. And one thing I'm really excited about in this career mode, guys, is it will be a genuine challenge. Because the sliders, as we have set them, and the fact that we have some really big opponents, you might look at the Bundesliga and think, you know what, it's, an un it's not really an interesting league to watch. But in FIFA, it's completely different. You have Bayern, you have Dortmund, you have Leverkusen, you have Schalke, you have all these teams, including Leipzig now, to worry about. The top four will be a huge battle and we will be fighting for it. We will be fighting against all these teams with the squad that we have right now 
it will be a very, very big mission. A mission impossible, basically, in this career mode. But with your help and with my gameplay, I'm hoping we can get it done, man. I'm really hoping we can do it. And I'm hoping you guys are as excited as I am. First transfer already went through. Now we have the um, first match of the season in the European International Cup. And you know what? I will be playing this match. Because one thing I wanted to know is, is ODG good enough? Is he the striker that this team needs? Is he going to grow at into like a decent striker? Can he get up to like an 80 rating with decent training this season? Those are all the questions. I'm happy with my back line except the left back position. I'm happy with my CDM position. That is probably the best position in our team right now. The defensive midfield. That means we hopefully won't be conceding too many goals. But then moving forward, Didavi. I've never used him. Mali. Arnold, all players that I'm really excited to see how they play. Hopefully, they are just OP. Now, here's the deal. We are playing with our new career mode against one of my best career mode teams ever. Not one of my, definitely my best career mode team ever, Crystal Palace. Now, I am extremely excited and I think this is a sign. This is a sign that this career mode could be a really good one because we start off by playing against the best career mode team I've ever had on my channel. And we get destroyed by the penalty king. Milivojevic in the third minute already. A cross comes in and he just bangs it on the volley. Look at that. That is such a good finish. We are already 1-0 down. Three minutes into our first game ever with our team. And we are already losing. And I was talking about my CDMs and us not conceding too many goals. Forget about all that. Didavi with some nice silky moves. Plays it over. Does get it back again. Origi. I see you there, Arnold. Arnold can shoot as far as I know. But not like that. You're a left footer, Arnold. You need to be better than this. You are one of the main guys on my thumbnail. You need to be good. We have Oscar De Marcos on the ball. Oscar De Marcos gets past one. That is what I wanted. I want this guy to join my team to move the ball forward because he's a right back with a lot of so potential to get goals started. And he does that. Divock ODG. First match, first goal. Maybe he is the man that we are looking to use in this career mode as our main striker. Now, here's the deal. Divo Origi is a player in real life that I always had a lot of faith in. I just feel like there's something about his discipline that he doesn't, or his tactical gameplay, something like that is just not right with this guy. I think with the right coach, Divo Origi could be an amazing player because we have seen what he can do for Liverpool and now we see what he can do in our career mode. He's rushing forward, defenders running away from him, Origi running down the wing, Origi cuts inside now, he's still going, Origi plays it, Didavi shoots and what a terrible finish, that has to be a goal. Now in the 67th minute you can already see the stamina issues in this team, I didn't think that a lot of these people would have stamina issues but as you can tell Arnold is quite down on his stamina so Stefan gets his chance down the left. I am subbing in Bazur for Gilavogi, and then we will also bring in, I think we might use Dimata down the right or Mehmedi. I think I want to give a chance to Mehmedi because he might be a player that goes out quite soon, so let's test him out and see if he's good enough. Oh no, that's a goal, that's a goal, Sacco Castils! That's a goal, that's 2-1 Crystal Palace in the 69th minute. I believe that is Wickham. Castells did make a great save with that header, but as soon as that cross came in, I knew I didn't stand a chance. The player was in front of me, he was much stronger, and Wickham just stands there and just taps it in, and our changes are just now coming in. Hopefully they can have an impact. Losing the first game right here would be quite terrible. In this preseason tournament, we can actually win up to seven million, so that would be a good thing for our team, but as it stands, it's not looking good. Oh god, the skill moves, the skill moves and the pass, that is unbelievable. It is offside though, that was an incredible goal. If that counted man, hats off to you boys. But look at the passing play right now, I am really struggling. But 
We still have a little bit of time. Maybe we can make something happen right here. Guys, we are running late into the game. It is the 90th minute, and I can tell you one thing. The build-up play has killed us. Our build-up play with this team right now, as it stands, is just not good enough. There are, there's too much space. The formation probably won't be working for me because I need to be able to play fast passes and my players making runs. It's not happening with this formation. I feel like I'm searching for my players more than I should be. But yeah, you can just tell. The passing play is just not on point. It's just not working out against Crystal Palace here, is it? And they might... Oh my God. How did that not go in? That was an amazing shot. It's 2-1 for Crystal Palace. Our old career mode team beats our new career mode team. And I would say it's, a lot of it is down to our team not being able to pass the ball properly and get into positions to take shots. Five shots, only one on target. That is ridiculous. So here's the deal, guys. We have to change our formation. It is not going to be working out with one striker up top. I cannot play with formations that only have one up top. It just doesn't work out for me most of the time. So we will probably, for now, switch to a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Uh, we'll be going up top with the likes of Di Mata and Origi. I know it is not the best partnership, but that just shows you that we have to bring in a new striker into our team. So we will use Origi, but he will basically be up top with someone else. The Davi will be our cam. Yunus Mali. You know what? I think I would rather have Yunus Mali up top than Di Davi, but I won't make my decision yet. So we'll be using Yunus Mali down the right hand side of our midfield. And then I will be using Camacho as our CDM. Gilavogi will be... Should I play him or Arnold? Ah, it's a tough decision, you know. It is a really tough decision. I think for now, I will keep the... Mm. I will put in Arnold. I will put in Arnold. I think he's the right player to use there. With the left foot, he will be perfect for us. The defense, I wouldn't blame them. I would blame the fact that we haven't been able to pass the ball around quickly for the fact that this team has lost their first game under my control. The fans will not be happy. I'm not happy with the fact that I've lost my first game with my new career mode team. But it just shows you how much of a challenge this career mode will be. How tough it will be to carry this team to the Bundesliga title, to the German Cup title. That is what we are going for. Now, for this episode, mainly what I want you guys to do is go down into the comments, suggest players to buy. Di Mata is too low rated. I need a new striker. And then maybe a new center midfielder as well, or someone that can play in a center attacking midfield position. Because as good as Di Davi might be, I think he's replaceable. So let me know, guys, what you think in the comments down below. This has been the first episode of the Wolfsburg Career Mode. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are legends for tuning in. If you haven't hit that like button yet, do it right now before you leave. Take care and peace.